Good morning, I'm Shalini. So now I'll be talking about a survey on big data security and privacy. So data is everything. In this generation, living without technology is impossible. Thus, due to the vast usage of computing devices like phones, laptops, computers, gadgets, and other wearable computing devices, the interaction of people with the internet has increased. So social media, search engines, blogs, websites, business, where they serve an enormous amount of data. So due to lack of authentication and authorization, uh, insecure network interfaces and software put electronic data at risk. The privacy leakage uh, also caused serious problems to the users. Therefore, with the fast-growing security threats and attacks and data breaches, the issues concerning it must be addressed. Big data is nothing but large amounts of data sourced out from various resources. So the collective information is classified into structured and unstructured data. Security becomes a big challenge for big data since it contains personal and confidential data. According to a um, ITRC and US Department of Human Services, uh, 98.2 million individuals were impacted until June 2021 due to data breach. Also, insecure uh, cloud, cloud network and web network and insecure software, ins insufficient authentication and uh, security configuration are considered to be the major concerns in big data security. So by improving the authentication methods, file encryption methods, access control, key management, secure communication, we can protect big data and avoid a security violations. We can also use algorithms uh, like um, AES algorithm, lightweighted encryption algorithms, and so on. So big data is a way of analyzing and extracting information. So it has five major properties, volume, which means huge amount of data, variety, which is um, different formats of data from various resources, and veracity, that is variety, inconsistencies and uh, uncertainty in data, velocity, that is high speed of accumulation of data, that value, that is extraction of useful data. So uh, all of this data, uh, Though it uh, provides high advantages, a lot of advantages, people face a lot of disadvantages with respect to privacy and security issues. So data security requirements. So three properties are to be considered, confidentiality, integrity, and availability. Confidentiality is the protection of data from unauthorized access. And integrity, um, which refers to the Unauthorized uh, modifications and ensure it is uh, free from errors, up to date, and it is original and from repeatable resources. Sources. And availability that is protection of data from unauthorized um, users. So, uh, privacy has become a critical requirement in big data. So, uh, increasing data collection and data sharing has resulted in increasingly sophisticated data attacks. Like for example, in internet industry, which deals with a lot of uh, personal information of an individual, it needs to have uh, secure data storage, strict operational supervision, secure protection standards, appropriate laws to protect the use of privacy. Uh, in the uh, telecommunication industry, which deals with mobile uh, phone usage uh, data, network equipment, server locks, billing, and social network uh, related data, it needs uh, to protect use of privacy and prevent corporate core data from leakage. And in e-commerce industry, which also deals with customer data uh, and uh, purchase data, etc., et it needs to have access control, processing algorithms, network security, data management, and application. And medical industry, which deals with intimate data like uh, treatment, prescriptions, uh, diagnosis, and so on. Um, data processing tools and techniques may also waste valuable uh, data. So it requires secure and uh, reliable data storage and data backups and data management. And uh, when talking about issues in uh, security and privacy, uh, lack of monitoring and tracking of data databases leads to theft and also like um, 
not encrypting the data while being stored and uh, having unauthorized people uh, while collecting or storing the data and storing the data in uh, common devices like pen drive also leads to data loss, data leakage and hacking and so on. So these are the major issues related to big data volume, velocity, variety, veracity and cloud data. So in volume, since there are large amount of data uh, in a cloud platform, if it is not secured, the cyber criminals uh, will have easy access towards it if it is not disclosed properly. And in the velocity, um, the risks are like real-time profiling, behavioral targets and tracking techniques um are of high um, probability and uh, big veracity is an issue where uh, uncertainty of data incompleteness and ambiguity of data are at risk and uh, big variety uh, so it has issues like um high profiling data breaches since it has information of uh, credit cards and uh, personal information and so on uh, cloud data security and privacy uh, where it lacks the security because cloud uh, service providers uh, do not provide enough um, security. And in the challenges, uh, with respect to the issues that we have addressed, uh, these are the number of challenges that we encounter in protecting the big data, big data user privacy protection, easy attack on big data, user privacy protection problems, safe storage of massive data, big data lifecycle changes, uh, trust security issues in big data, core infrastructure security, server security, network security, data confidentiality and privacy. So regarding, um, considering all these uh, issues and uh, challenges, these are the techniques and technologies that are used to protect big data. The first one is cryptography. So cryptography is the practice of preserving data, information, and uh, communications in coded language that can be understood uh, by the data producer and the user. So pairing-based cryptography is used to protect multimedia healthcare data and the encrypting data that is stored in relational databases. We ensure that data is protected from uh, security issues such as hacker attacks, Accidental uh, data loss by an unapproved user. Application level encryption prevents even database administrators from accessing the enc encrypted data. AES, DES, ADES, and other symmetric um, encryption algorithms uh, can be used for symmetric um, encryption. And for asymmet asymmetric, we can use ECC, RSA, and DC Hellman algorithms and uh, cloud information security. So this is a technique that is uh, used like encrypting and maintaining the um, enterprise data in the cloud. So next is data discovery. Like it, is, it is important to understand how information is used. So as a result of um, scanning data repositories, we can identify data compliance issues and so on. Uh, so next is content rights management. So whatever data that is being collected and used, uh, the individual should uh, or employee should have uh, the consent like what and what extent the data is used and uh, the purpose of the data being collected. And tokenization, it is nothing but randomly uh, generated values. Um, so it replaces sensitive data like credit card numbers, bank account and so on, access control. Uh, access control is nothing but to regulate um, who can access data resources and um, it is used by, um, it is enhanced by two-factor authorization and so on. Uh, and uh, relationship-based access control is also used in online social networks and uh, big data and big data security and privacy in cloud services where it has four levels, base security for physical um, security, logical security for infrastructure to protect infra infrastructure, value added security to protect firewall and VPN, and governance risk and uh, compliance. H HDFS, that is Hadoop Distributed File System, uh, uses uh, Kerberos for authentication, bullseye algorithm 
to examine the relationship of the real data and uh, duplicated data and name node approach to enhance the security. So a firm's most valuable asset is its information. So its security is of utmost importance. So however, big data uh, characteristics, including its volume, variety, velocity, and veracity create new type of risks. So data can be protected using techniques like confidentiality, integrity, availability, and authentication. And while storing, you can use cryptography, tokenization, and application level encryption. In the light of um, current security and privacy issues, more research needs to be done by considering the present issue and analyzing the future issues. So more research should be done and more solutions to be formulated to protect the big data and provide the users or the people more security and privacy.